Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 5. In this video, the puzzle solving technique called Locked Candidates will be discussed. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Locked candidates occur when two houses are competing for the same possible candidates of a particular number. We have highlighted all the cells having a 7 number as a possible candidate. Look at the house making up block 4. This means the number 7 is located in one of these two spots for the house making up block 4. However, these two cells having a possible 7 candidates are also shared with the house making up row 5. Since the number 7 must be located in one of the two spots highlighted, the house making up row 5 cannot have any possible 7s candidates anywhere else in the row. We have highlighted in red the cells of the house making up row 5 that cannot have any 7 candidates because of the two cells in block 4 which are highlighted in green. We have identified a possible 7 candidate located within row 5 that must be removed because the cell is not shared with the block 4 house. We removed the non-possible candidates in the house making up row 5 because of the locked candidates that are needed for the block 4 house. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again, locked candidates occur when two houses are competing for the same possible candidates of a particular number. We have highlighted all the cells having a 1 number as a possible candidate. Look at the house making up block 1. This means the number 1 must be located in one of these two spots for the house making up block 1. However, these two cells having a possible 1 candidates are also shared with the house making up column 3. Since the number 1 must be located in one of the two spots highlighted in block 1, the house making up column 3 cannot have any possible 1 candidates anywhere else in the column. We have highlighted in red the cells of the house making up column 3 that cannot have any 1 candidates. We have identified a possible 1 candidate located within column 3 that must be removed because the cell is not shared with the block 1 house. We remove the non-possible candidate in the house making up column 3 because of the locked candidates that are needed in the house making up block 1. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again, lock candidates occur when two houses are competing for the same possible candidates of a particular number. We have highlighted all the cells having a 2 as a possible candidate. Since the number 2 must be located in one of the two spots highlighted in row 8, the house making up block 8 cannot have any possible 2 candidates anywhere else in the block. We have highlighted in light red the cells of the house making up block 8 that cannot have any two candidates. We have identified two possible two candidates located within block 8 that must be removed because the cell is not shared with the house making up row 8. We remove the non-possible candidates in the house making up block 8 because of the locked candidates that are needed in the house making up row 8. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've highlighted the six candidates. Notice the locked candidates in row 8 shared with block 9. This means the six candidates on row 9 in block 9 need to be removed. Also notice the locked candidates in block 8 shared with row 9. This also means the six candidates on row 9 and block 9 need to be removed. The non-possible six candidates are removed. Next, consider the house making up block 3. Notice the locked candidates on row 1. This means the six candidates on row 1 in the block 2 house need to be removed. The non-possible six candidates are removed. We now have a hidden single for the sixth candidate in row 2, column 4. 
We choose 6 as the value for the cell in row 2, column 4. Before we begin testing, please make sure to click on the link below and make a generous donation so we can continue making DX Sudoku videos. Time to test what you have learned. Consider this Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and identify any locked candidates with the cells highlighted before continuing. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and identify any locked candidates with the cells highlighted before continuing. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and identify any locked candidates with the cells highlighted before continuing. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and identify any locked candidates with the cells highlighted before continuing. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and identify any locked candidates with the cells highlighted before continuing. Here is the solution. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and identify any locked candidates with the cells highlighted before continuing. Here is the solution. Please support DX Sudoku so we can continue making DX Sudoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DX Sudoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DX Sudoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 5. Thank you for watching.